Rolls-Royce wasn't expecting a pandemic to drive interest in virtual reality training, but the timing turned out to be perfect and in March the engine manufacturer began teaching a BR725 familiarization class entirely in cyberspace. When I learned about the virtual reality training, I knew I had to try it. Soon enough, instructor and quality lead Jason Whitman shipped a big package to my home, and at the prearranged time, I put on the Oculus virtual reality glasses and opened my eyes in a new world. Although I was standing for real in my home office, the glasses and powerful PC that they were attached to showed that Jason and I were standing inside a gleaming hangar, standing by the tail of a Gulfstream G650 with one open cowl showing a BR725 engine. Jason walked me through how the controls work and I was soon teleporting up onto the maintenance platform next to the engine, back down to the floor, then onto the bottom cowl, which serves as a safe place to work underneath the engine. The controls allowed me to do all sorts of neat moves, like highlighting entire assemblies and even removing assemblies intact. Once removed, I could disassemble things further, in many cases down to the nuts and bolts. Another interesting capability that Jason showed me was how I could grab a highlighter and mark up anything on the engine. He used the marker to show me where to release the pressure inside the starter generator before removing a service plug. He also demonstrated removing the oil cap and checking the oil level. We changed out the view of the G650 for the engine floating a few feet off the hangar floor. In this view, I could do cutaways of the engine from the side or the ends and see exactly how the engine is put together. This also helped me learn how parts relate to one another and where air flows through the engine. This was an amazing experience and far more engaging and informative than a physical engine cutaway model or PowerPoint presentations. Jason showed me how to remove the spinner on the front of the engine, then pull out individual fan blades. On the fan blade route in the real engine, there is a fine marking identifying each blade, and sure enough, that was modeled in the virtual engine. The attention to detail in this virtual reality model is simply breathtaking. For now, Rolls-Royce is using virtual reality training just for the familiarization course, not for any courses that require certification. But the opportunities to develop this technology are amazing. It could be used for troubleshooting, horoscope training, practice repairs, and many other applications. Everyone who has been through the virtual reality training enjoys it, Jason said, and even older people who might be shy of the technology find it easy to use and much better than sitting through a class with boring presentations. People who don't understand how a turbine engine works come away with new insights, he told me. Besides the improved learning, a big benefit of virtual reality training is that students don't have to travel for the class. They can take the class in their home or hangar, and there's no need for airline tickets or hotels. Rolls-Royce's virtual reality system showed me the benefits of this training, and I expect we'll see a lot more of it in the future whether or not we're still dealing with a pandemic. Thanks for watching this AIN video. Please like, subscribe, and share it if you've enjoyed it. Also, visit AINonline.com for all the latest on the aviation industry.